Hey, you guys, I'm making some magic over here. Hello, everyone. My name is Alyssa, and I'm obsessed with Disney. Today, we're going to do something a little different. I'm going to attempt to recreate some Instagram photos of the Disney elite, the Disney famous, if you will. I've seen this going around YouTube a million years ago. I'm late to the game, but I figured it'd be something fun and different, uh, especially considering how much of the Disney fan community revolves around Instagram. So hopefully uh, this will turn out okay. I'm honestly going to try my best, but it's probably all gonna come out not good. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. Uh, and maybe you could kind of get a behind the scenes look into uh, what it takes to make these Instagram pictures. Obviously most of these pictures are in the park and <laughs> clearly if this is my purple wall, I'm not in the park. <laughs> Uh, so let's give it a whirl, shall we? Okay, first up, we are going to recreate this picture uh, by from Emily Jones. Uh, she's from Oh Yeah Disney. Oh Yeah Everything. Uh, her handle is at Oh Yeah M. And she's got beautiful, beautiful pictures. So what she's got going on here is she is wearing a millennial pink shirt from her apparel company. So I'm wearing a millennial pink shirt from my apparel company. Uh, she's wearing a white dad hat that is oh yeah on it, which is again her brand. So I will be wearing a white dad hat with my brand. Um, then she's got a pink drink and um, my brother so graciously went to Starbucks for me to get this drink <laughs> to recreate this picture. I got my fake purple wall. Um, and I got my Disney Dooney, which I'm sure is the backpack that she's wearing in this picture. So let's give it a shot, shall we? Okay, so here's the attempt. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys, um, right in this little bit, like the unedited pictures of what we took. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to do side by side when I try to like match the kind of filters and photo editing that everyone did. And then we'll see how it really matches up. Because right now... She looks pretty rough, and I made Danny take like a million pictures of me, and it still looks that bad. So, <laughs> let's try the next one. Okay, so next I am doing this picture um, from Chelsea, which is at Styled by Magic. Uh, and again, you know, it's in the park, so uh, I don't really have stuff in the park. And these ripped pants she's wearing. I don't own any ripped pants. I don't know, that's just not really my style. Uh, but I have these black jeans that... Uh, I don't really like the fit of that much, and I got a whole bunch of uh, white uh, screen printing ink on them from these shirts. And uh, I need more pink pants like I need a hole in my head. So I was like, you know what? Screw it. Let's just rip some holes in these. So I started doing that, and I was like, wait a minute. I should just show the crew how I'm ripping holes in my pants in case some people wanted to see that. <laughs> Okay, we had to come inside for the rest of this because <laughs> it's cold without a jacket in New York in February. So here's the raw photos. Actually, doing it looks so cute on Instagram, but then like looking at yourself do it, you feel so silly. You're like, what is this pose? <laughs> so here's the raw and edited thing, and then we'll see at the end what it looks like. <laughs> I'm just laughing because I just felt so silly doing it. Uh, so moving on to the next one. Hey. So this one is proving to be one of the more difficult ones. So what we're doing is this picture from Olaf and Olivia, uh, at Olaf and Olivia. It's Olivia's her name, clearly. Um, uh, for those of you who aren't really familiar with DCP stuff, Olivia is a legendary DCP vlogger. She's on a PI now. And this is at the Grand Floridian. 
let me tell you, obviously my house isn't really, doesn't really look like the grand. And so we're trying to like overexpose the back. So I ripped this down because I thought it'd be better. But then I, I had to make Danny put it back up for me. Thanks, Danny. He's such a big help for this video. Um, so we're going to try to see if this works because because we've been through it already a lot with this one. So look at our setup for this one. Danny, the gourmet chef, um, just put out a whole bunch of uh, <laughs> Girl Scout cookies and Oreos and graham crackers and diet bars for me. And so I have my, my picture inspiration just so I can kind of look to look at their faces. Danny sitting on a table. Yep. <laughs> and then this is how we got our desired look with our faux purple wall. But with all of this light, blowing out behind it <laughs> oh my god so i guess um here's the unedited and on to the next one next up we got boom this photo from uh francis disneyland legend at francis dominic after a debacle at walgreens i have myself an ice pop i know it's not the right color but these aren't the right sunglasses either or the ears but you gotta do what you gotta do Otherwise, I mean, yeah, this isn't mesh, but it's close enough, okay? Here we go. Okay, so we're moving on to the next one, but here's the unedited Francis picture, and on to the next one, which I'm doing this look of Cody T of the Lost Bros. I had to do it. I mean, I, I got the shirt, I got a hat that matches it pretty close, and I got some red shoes on. Boop! And um, I got my fake flowers because it's February and there's snow on the ground. So there's no real flowers here. <laughs> but you know, I just did some some light craft store gardening. Let's see how this goes. Yay! Okay, back outside again. <laughs> the next thing we are doing is, boom, this picture from uh, Raven, AKA the Disney dorm. Uh, I'm not in dino land, so some scary thorns will have to suffice for a dinosaur. Uh, and this one, my hair looks terrible, but I kind of tried to put some wave in it because we are on a time crunch. I need to deliver Danny somewhere and I need his help for this video. <laughs> uh, so after this, there will be one more, but it's a selfie so I can handle that. So let's take this picture. <laughs> hey, you guys. So I dropped Danny off, a bunch of things happened, but I am now in my seventh and final look. My hair is not straight anymore. My hair does not do well straight. This is its natural habitat. Well, kind of. Forgive me for sidebarring kind of second. I'm so stoked I need to talk about it. I'm going somewhere in a little bit. So I couldn't like completely like shower and like do my hair like naturally. Cause like right when I get out of the shower, my hair is wet. My hair is wavy and kind of curly in its natural state. Uh, I did not have time to do that. So basically the second my hair gets a little wet when it's straightened, boom. It's done, no more straight. So I was like, wait a minute. I've, there's, I've recently found this diffuser piece for the hair dryer in my house. So I was like, I've never diffused my hair before, but it has something to do with curly hair. Let's see how that works. So I just wet my hair a little bit. And oh my God, look what the diffuser did. Like my hair is like usually like curly and stuff, but like this, this is a whole nother level. Any of you guys have never tried diffusing your hair and you got like wavy kind of curly hair, do it! Anyway, back to our regular schedule programming. <laughs> the final look, I am doing this look from Sarah Sterling, Sarah G. Sterling on Instagram. And it's just a selfie, so I figured I could do this one, you know, alone. So this is the look we got. I don't have a black dress with the zipper, I just got a plain black dress. And I don't have a regular, like, kind of white shirt, I just got this button down. So I'm wearing this white button down with this black dress over it. I don't have the same pins she has, but one of the pins that she's wearing is from her store, Fan Flare. This pin is from Fan Flare, so I was like, close enough. And Sarah is the queen of Disneyland, so I'm wearing this Disneyland pin. So, I mean, they're bluish, so there's kind of a theme. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to take some pictures. Um, thank God that this picture, her hair is covering one of her wings, because... I don't know how you guys are on Disney YouTube and you don't know Sarah, but if you don't, Sarah is the queen of winged eyeliner. This one came out pretty okay. I am garbage at winged eyeliner. This is normally how my winged eyeliner looks. So we're just gonna cover that up, pretend like that didn't happen, and uh, I'll take some pictures. Okay, I think I got a good one. So 
This is the unedited version. And I guess now, well, drum roll, please. Here is what the Instagram famous have posted versus what I concocted. Enjoy. Did I nail it? Did I fail it? I don't know, I haven't edited the videos yet, so mm, you tell me! <laughs> if you like this kind of video, let me know down in the comments. Maybe I'll do some more of this kind of off-the-wall fun kind of thing. <laughs> I don't know, was it fun? I don't know, I had fun, okay? I'm living for uh, that Cody T picture that I took. It's pretty good. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna end this here. I'll see you guys next time. Have a seamless day, everyone. Bye! What you gonna do?